What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video. Now yesterday we got a new feature from Game Informer, how the Taken King changes Destiny's competitive multiplayer. Now if you guys missed that I will link it in the video description. There's a great video that I've gone through and I've picked out the finer points which I will cover in today's video. Now if you guys do enjoy the video at the end if you could leave a like I would appreciate the support. Also a massive shout out to Arex Gaming who's helped me out quite a lot over the past couple of weeks with this Game Informer Taken King footage. His channel is linked in the video description if you guys do want to check him out. Now getting straight into the latest Game Informer video, 18 seconds in we see this warlock holding the flag in crucible wearing what has to be an exotic chest armour. If you look closely it seems to be changing colour, it looks absolutely incredible. Now at the same time we can also see what looks to be another exotic which is the hunter helmet. This thing also looks like it has some sort of movement, maybe it harnesses energy behind a glass face. Who knows, it looks epic either way. Now moving on, at 46 seconds in, we see a hunter using a very unique looking pistol. Now people have speculated that this could be a weapon shader. Me personally, I believe it will just be a vendor weapon and the green is part of the design of the weapon and armors available from this vendor. Because if you look closely, the hunter's armor has the same green color. I could be wrong but this is what I actually think. Now at 1 minute 19 seconds in we get a better look at the dead orbit of Molen scout rifle. This basically confirms that factions will at least offer weapon shaders for foundry weapons. I cannot wait to see a new Moniki Suros weapon, I really can't. It will be absolutely incredible. Now at 1 minute 39 seconds in, the same Guardian welding the dead orbit on Marlin's scout rifle switches to what I first thought was a King's Fall raid weapon. This shotgun does have hive characteristics in its design and it does remind me of the Necrochasm. But the first time we saw this weapon, it was a grey black colour. Could this be the same weapon with a shader on it, maybe a new monarchy shader, who knows. All I know is this shotgun looks absolutely sexy in red and white. Now at 3 minutes 29 seconds in, Lars talks about how elimination may come as a permanent game mode, which will be great and I'm sure this is something we would all like to see. Now at 3 minutes 54 seconds in, we see a new and improved Necrochasm. Buffs to this weapon in the 2.0 patch include increased base stability from 40 to 60, increased magazine size, and we can see here how much of an increase it's getting. It was 42, now it's 54. Other buffs to the Necrochasm in the 2.0 patch are uh, the Curse Bringer perk now triggers on all precision kills, and its explosion deals more damage and has increased radius. Moving on, at 4 minutes 33 seconds, we see a Crucible Quest from Lord Shax. All three Crucible Quests will be amazing. The point here is not the actual quest, but it's the gold shell he is selling. If you look closely, you can just about make it out in the background. So it's basically confirmed that we will be able to buy gold shells from certain vendors. And we all know as well, these gold shells do offer special abilities. I cannot wait to see more about it. Also notice the colour of the armies he's selling. The hand cannon at the start of the video rocked the same colour scheme. So that confirms that all the weapons and armors we've seen rocking that green color are crucible armors and weapons. Now at 4 minutes 52 seconds we get another look at the Tex Mechanica shotgun, the same foundry that brought us the last word. Now to be honest, shotguns are going to be the last thing I use in crucible when the 2.0 patch comes. Although we'd like to get my hands on this bad boy, it's not an exotic I'm going to be racing to try and get. Now the last thing to mention in this video, at 5 minutes 14 seconds, he mentions something that will rock the community for the good and bad. Some people will love this fact, while many will hate it. He mentions Blink will not be as good anymore. Blink is not going to be quite as good as it was before. Blink is not going to be quite as good as it was before basically stating it's getting nerfed. But what can be done to nerf Blink? I just have no idea. I know it has a cooldown so you can only jump twice before you have to wait a few seconds for it to cool down. Maybe extending the cooldown time could be what they're doing. Who knows? I feel there should be a time delay before you can actually shoot after blinking because at the moment there is absolutely none. And if someone blinks at you and lands in your face with a shotgun, you cannot combat it or react to it, you really can't. You can do nothing. So yet maybe a time delay will be put in place after you've blinked before you can shoot. Who knows, you're just going to have to wait and see. 
But guys, if any more news comes on the Taken King, you can be sure to find it on my channel right here. So subscribe if you're new to my channel and enjoy that daily Destiny content. Thanks for stopping by as always. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand